Hello friends and welcome to my channel the Unix Mantra. Today we are going to set up a virtual lab for Ansible so that we can test and configure Ansible. The prerequisites for that are uh, first of all we will need three virtual machines uh, with a CentOS 7 installed uh, so that uh, one can act as a control node and other two as managed host. Then we will need a user with name as NC admin to be created on all three nodes. You can create any user for the automation. That in our setup, uh, we'll be having one control node and two manage host. Uh, the control node will have a host name as ansible.theunixmantra.com and the IP address as 192.168.56.10. Other one as vm1 and vm2. TheUnixMantra.com and will have IP address as 56.11 and 56.12. So let's start. So I already have three virtual machines created uh, on VirtualBox. If you don't know how to deploy a virtual machine on VirtualBox, uh, you can simply watch my video. I've included the the link in the description as well as you can click on the suggestion icon at the right hand side. So first of all, uh, we'll create a user with name and say admin on all three nodes. So first, uh, I will log into the control node, which has IP address as 192.156.10. I will log in with root user. So the command to create user is user at the name is User and CIP. Then I will say the password. So we'll add this uh, NC admin user to the will group because we want this user to have uh, administrative privileges. So the command for that is user more. For Admin. Then we'll do some will group settings. Uh, so by default, uh, the members of the will group uh, can have the administrative privileges, but uh, while doing so, they have to put the password every time. So we don't want that to happen. So I've created a uh, and say admin on the control node. Uh, same thing I will do for the manage host. It's user and say admin. Add that to group will. Change the fill group settings. Just hash this line and unhash this line. The same we'll do on the next manage host. User inside me. User more than in G group. The will group settings. So this has been done. Uh, now uh, we we'll log into the control node with the the NC admin user. So that uh, with that only we have to configure the automation. So the IP address is fifty six dot. So here we go. The user is Ansible. Uh, first of all, we'll install the Ansible package. 
So the command for the cm install So here we go, the package has been installed. Uh, to check the Ansible version, uh, the command is Ansible icon icon version. And uh, this is actually the default configuration file of the Ansible. So currently, uh, there is no passwordless communication uh, from the control node to manage host uh, for this user NC admin. So we'll first of all set up a passwordless communication uh, which we will require to run any ad hoc commands or running Ansible playbooks. So first of all configure the uh, first of all create the private and public key. So the command for that is search point keychain. So it has been created. Uh, now we'll create the passwordless communication so the command for that is ssh copy id the remote user this is stopped so this is our first user so actually it is asking for the password of the remote user uh, which we happen set so first of all we'll set that So I will log into this manager to with uh, root user and change the password of NCR. Same thing I will do for the twelve. Set the password. So here we go. Now we'll try to run this same message ID command. It has copied the public key to the most host authorized key file. Same thing I will do for the next host. So here we have set up the passwordless configuration from the control users and the admin user to the managed host and the admin users. So we'll try to uh, demonstrate a few ad hoc commands. Uh, for that we'll need an inventory file. So I will create an inventory file with the name as inventory and put our two managed hosts IP address 192.60.56.11 16.56.1 The add up command uh, will run it on all that is with the host. So I am using Ansible on the, the path of the inventory. Then ping model. Ping is actually a test model to test the Ansible configuration. And here we go. And it is successful. So we can try any uh, other different uh, model. Uh, for example, we'll try a command model here. We'll try this host name command on both the methods. And it is successful. So these are actually the actual host names of the remote host or the managed host. So this is how we have configured successfully the, the Ansible lab. Uh, you can try running Ansible add-up commands on the Ansible playbooks. Thank you for watching the video.